Cinevision FM as we have the uh, the Vice Squad looking for me and looking for you. Uh, the topic t today on Intervision, Intervision TV, Intervision FM, and uh, oh yeah, you can give us a call at 720-324-7278, that's 720-324-7278, and leave your comments on our voicemail. Yes, hmm. Oh, and one also, we, we, well, okay, let me tell you what the topic is. It's okay. Well, you know, it's, it's do you believe, um, do you believe either uh, Dr. Shiva or Shiva or Dr. Uh, Fosse, right? Fauci. Yeah. So, who do you believe? So, for the last six weeks, we've been hearing from this. Uh, 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 Dr. Anthony, and that's his first name, Anthony. And uh, I, I've been hearing him on, on the Breakfast Club, and and uh, and spouting his, his left wing views, and and uh, and so I, I know a little bit about where he's come from. He's been around uh, the, those politics for the last uh, uh, four decades. Uh, he's now at the top. He controls where the money goes for grants and so forth. And so he's, he, he worked his way up to the top. And that's who uh, President Trump picked to um, give him advice, okay? And if you're just joining us, uh, you're watching Intervision TV, Intervision FM, I usually uh, put these shows on, on uh, Denver Comcast, uh, 56, eight o'clock on Wednesdays, and I put it on my YouTube channel as, as well. Uh, Intervision FM, and uh, we have a nonprofit organization that we work with physically challenged musical artists to teach the business of music. And a lot of our shows are not <laughs> dealing with the, the music business, where some people say, "Well, oh, we're going to talk about more business." Well, you go on our website, uh, sign up for one of our, our classes, or become a, a member, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So, so I've been. Watching some some videos, I've been listening to Dr. Fin, Finchie or Fossey. Uh, we're just going to just call him uh, Dr. Anthony, and that in the, the People's Magazine they want to uh, make him the most sexiest guy and, and all that kind of stuff. And I hear him going on these radio shows, and 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 uh, he's the the main reason that uh, Donald Trump went went for shutting down the country. And, and uh, and he gave these, these him and that other lady gave these big numbers of how many people were going to die a million and how people were going to die and stuff like that. And then we went from a million to maybe five hundred to maybe twenty five hundred, and then it's, it's, it's standing right now at at sixty seven thousand. Now, even one death is, is, a, is, is, is uh, under, this, under these condition, conditions is bad, but we know that people will die. If you're born, you will die, and there are people dying every day. There's people that, that are dying that we don't even know are dying because they're not in our, in our inner circle. So, why is the big buzzword now the coronavirus virus? What's, what's, what's the big plan around that? All right? And, and, and we're going to talk about some other things locally here in, De in Denver, Colorado. But, but I want to cover a little bit of this, this national stuff first, and then we'll, we'll go down to some, some local stuff. So then, you know, I, I like to listen to this, these two um, uh, African-American women named Diamond and Silk. And you know, I see them sometimes on Fox, and and then I saw this report. Did you hear that that uh, Fox TV has separated from Diamond and Silk, have has cut their ties? And I said, hmm. Now, what could these two women have said? I mean, they're 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 already outrageous, right? What could these two African American women who were Democrats? Up until uh, 2015, they saw Donald Trump and they squished from being a Democrat. Democrat, they squished 
and started this movement called Switch to Republican. What could these women have said that would have been so upsetting to Fox News Channel that would have said, hey, we need to cut our ties, no more weekly blogs. What could they have said? And for a while, you know, I was, you know, I, I kept it in the back of my mind. I didn't think too much about it, you know. And then I said, well, you know, then I, I, I saw them pop up on, on Facebook and say, hey, y'all, we'll be right back. Uh, you know, don't believe any of these people. You think they're your friends and they come up and they, 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 sabotage you and do things like that I said, and then I'm thinking like I'm thinking more because what did they say so I said well let me let me google them and, and find out like the, the channel right so, so I go to the channel I click on it and I see this 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 um this uh Dr. Shiva and I understand I think he's 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 uh originally from India, came here as a young child, as an immigrant, uh, got his naturalization, uh, worked as an engineer, but then went into science, um, and then went into the fields that are infectious diseases, and then went, up, went into all these other things. And so I'm, I'm listening to this interview, right? And I said, so far, we only had one side, we only had one expert, one expert, saying, shut down the country because of the coronavirus, and put people inside and and but and I, and, and uh, I listen I started listening to a, a Dr. CB and Patrick Dells and Chris uh, from a healthy alternative and so I was very much into like you know your body is able to if you put it in the right conditions and you have the tools to do, to do this and it's not very expensive and you put it in the right environment and, and because of how American structure is with now we, we have like uh, pretty much clean water with, well minus the chlorine that they put in the water but we have toilets and we have we don't have to go outside and dig a hole and and do our, our stuff there and walk around with dirty hands see what a dirty hands and then contract put that that you know other uh, infectious diseases back into ourselves because we're not we don't have our hands we came a long way to where we where we used to be where now most of everybody in america has indoor plumbing water water you know depending on where you live in some places like in michigan you know the water is infected with lead and stuff like that minus those things we pretty much have a pretty good infrastructure which we need to work on you know updating it and doing some other things which Congress doesn't seem to get it through their head and we wonder why and so I was wondering why this this uh, this Dr. Anthony was not talking about well you know you should you know probably you know take some vitamin C you know get your vitamin A through your dark leafy greens um, you need uh, vitamin D get out in the sunlight you know and uh, usually these viruses they die and you, you, you put them on there uh, like, like the, the heat of the sun, you know, they, they have a, a, a time, a timeline. Start from September, goes into March, then when the weather starts getting better, then these viruses usually go back under. But, doc, but the Dr. Anthony wasn't saying anything like that. He was looking for a, a drug, drug, drugs, drugs, drugs. And doctors, they love drugs because they get a kickback. When they, when they would recommend, well, you know, you've know, got higher blood pressure. Well, we don't recommend that you, we, 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 we sort of say that you should eat right, go out, but we can't tell you exactly what to eat because we don't, well, we don't know exactly our foods to eat because we're just doctors. We, we just have the white coats on and we, we, have the, we write the little prescription for this drug and we get a kickback in the drug, right? So you think, hey, hey easy way out. Just take a pill in the morning, take a pill in the evening. Hey, I can continue eating my pork chops, eating my ribs, um, eating all this processed food, and I got the pill, right? So I was hearing, hey, I was hearing Dr. Anthony, we have to come up with a vaccine, va vaccine, vaccine. And then I read that in 1962, one of the Kennedys, and I forget, and I didn't research to find out which Kennedy, 
put in this law saying, if you get a vaccine and it ends up uh, hurting you in the long run or damaging you or even killing you, you cannot come back and sue the company that made the vaccine. It's 1962. Okay. So, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I know all this stuff and I'm, it's just rolling in my mind. So when I, I hear the governor's polis, Governor Hancock say these things, I take it with a grain of salt because I said, politicians, liar, politician, liar, politician, liar. Right? It's like these words go together. Politician slash liar. Politician slash liar. And before Stevie Wonder got on the left wing uh, agenda, he wrote the song, uh, you, haven't, you Haven't Done Nothing, right? what he did with Jackson 5 back in 1972, but now he's even taking a knee, so whatever. So, so, I, I, so I was listening to this Dr. Shiver, and I was amazed that this Dr. Anthony wasn't saying anything about, well, you know, how this, you know, he has all this time, six weeks, hour seven days a week it was seven days a week no mention about vitamin c no mention about vitamin a no mention about vitamin d but drugs 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 and then when we found out there was a drug that they used for, for malaria that only cost 99 cents He came out with another drug. He said, well, we, I don't know about this. The news media said, well, we don't know about this. Let's use this drug that costs $99 instead. So you have over here, you have this drug that costs 99 cents. Then you have over here this drug that costs $99. And I started saying, hmm. Money, huh? Money. Hmm. So you would rather not use this one for 99 cents that has shown some some positive things. And then you, oh, oh let me touch on this. Then it was a, a couple in Arizona who the news media lied to us again and said some followers of Donald Trump saw this, uh, this bottle that had the saw this cleaning, fish cleaning fluid and they, the husband drank it and encouraged his wife to drink it. He dies but they're these Donald Trump supporters. Then you dig in a little bit deeper and you find out that they're Democrats and maybe he didn't die of this but it sounded good, so let's push that to the American people that it was Donald Trump supporters and they were Republicans, and neither one of them were Republicans. But you didn't see it, you didn't see it in the news, retracting that. You did not see that in the news, retracting that. Oh, we, uh, we lied. Uh, these weren't really Republicans. These were Democrats, supporters of, of the Democratic Party. And oh, by the way, it might have not been, you know, the f fish cleaner. It might have been something else that he died of. But since we're just naming, if you die, and you might have the coronavirus uh, virus, or you might, you might not, you might, you might not. We we'll just call it coronavirus because we need to up the numbers. Because if we up the numbers, then the hospitals will get more government funding more local funding to put in the coffers. So now we get we started learning that it's not the coronavirus that's the big killer, it's the different codes that doctors can write saying the the nursing home would write down um died of a heart attack. But was the coronavirus in the in the hospital? Oh well, yeah there was you know the cases over on the on the first floor but not on this floor. And then it would get overwritten. Well, since coronavirus was on the on the top floor, not on this floor, let's just put down coronavirus. Yep, he died of coronavirus. These numbers are being cooked. 
Why? If Carnarvon is 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 a is a killer a killer, as they said is, why not truthfully say a person died of Carnarvon? Why do you have to cook the books? Because it's all about the money. The more money we can get. This is a sanctuary state, Denver, Colorado. And Paulus and, and Hancock know that there was no other way they're going to get money out of, out of the, 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 the federal government because President Trump didn't agree with this, this uh, open state where banditos and criminals can come in our state illegal, illegally and the cops are told to stand down and they can, they can kill people just like when they let this um, it was a, it was a, uh, let's see, it was a 21 year old boy. And it was in December, and uh, the, the, the ISIS came in, was going to come in to get him, but the, the, they let him go. Then in February, this 32 year old man was standing on the, on the bus stop, and this 21 year old gangbanger, I think it was 19 year old gangbanger, came up and killed him. Now, if ICE would have got him, took him out of the out of the state, this. 32 old man who's just going to work wouldn't have been killed. But that's okay with Paulus and that's okay with Hancock because we welcome anybody. Come on in, kill the American citizens, be banditos, but we welcome you. Okay, okay, let me, let me stop talking about these two idiots for a second. And I don't mean idiot that Paulus is a very smart guy. Hancock. He's a, he's a very smart parrot, um, but I digress. Oh, by the way, um, let, me see, let me see where we are, because I only want to do so many minutes before I wrap this up, because I got to turn this into the station. Um, if you just join us, you're watching Intervision FM. I'm the only totally blind. TV producer in Colorado, as far as I know, and uh, we're talking about. Uh, do you believe, uh, doc, let's see, Doctor Shiva or Doctor Anthony? Which one do you believe in, in this whole thing, or do you believe you don't believe any of them? And like I say, go do your own research. Don't even believe me. Do your own research. You know, it's like you know. I could be, I could be lying to you too. You know, who put a badge up? Who put the nails in my hand saying that I'm, I'm perfect? You know, you know. I said, don't even believe me. But let's see who's watching. Luke Crock, Lock, who I say? Luke Crock, Luke Crock, thank you for watching. Mary Castanora is watching. And I know, and I didn't, I know I didn't say when I was going to come on. And I haven't been on in a while, so for the people that will watch this later on, you know, you can leave your comments down there. Um, now let's get to uh, speaking of, speaking of the devils. Let's let's get to Paulus and, and Hancock. Now, remember in, uh, here in Colorado, um, we were going to have the St. Patrick's Day parade. All the Irishmen was going to get together. We're going to have the St. Patrick's Day parade. It was big, and it's, we have the biggest one in, in the land, in, in the United States. Hundreds and thousands of people come, right? So they said, oh, no, 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 we can't have that because the, this, this virus is here. Okay, so we, we cut that, but we left open all the bars and everything because the bars, you know, <coughs> they had to make their money off of the, uh, the green beer and all that kind of stuff. And so he said, okay, okay, no St. Patrick's Day. Then... <coughs> Then come around to May, and Hancock, with his glasses and little mustache and all that kind of stuff, looked looking very like astute, like I, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> and I, I think, you know, I, I don't know if Paulus and, and, and Hancock get along together because when, when, when uh, Hancock won his, his last election, all the players were there, Hickenlooper and all these other Democrat guys were there, but Paulus was, was 
not in the scene. And you say, well, how do you know that you're a blind guy? I listen, I, 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 I tune in to get a lot of information. Peter Balls, Peter Balls, 5 to 9 KNUS radio, um, uh, uh, KHOW overnight, um, KLZ radio. And then I listen to the left wing news uh, on all those stations. So I get a chance to listen to the left wing, what they're saying, and then I get a chance to listen to to um, to the right as well. All right. So now we now we come to now and you know we got the lockdown and 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 Hancock says we're gonna go to May the eighth because we're not sure. And they built a big hospital uh, in the convention center that has not been used. Then they were gonna support the homeless. Since your hotels are, are empty, we'll put the homeless in the hotels for free. We'll put them at the Coliseum for free. We'll make a, a, another place for women for free. And then the, the security team came in that has worked with, with uh, the, the city and county of, of Denver and other governmental departments uh, came in and they said, well, we'll be the security. And then all of a sudden on that Sunday, they all walked out. And, I, and I, I've been waiting to find out what, what, what happened. What was the incident that caused the no? And everybody's been quiet. Shh, don't, don't, don't talk about this. Hancock, shh, don't talk about this. Polis, shh, don't, don't talk about this. And I kept on saying, now you have the security game. I mean, I mean was, it, was it like, were they told to, to turn, the, turn their heads when people come in and they shoot themselves up with their heroin and say, turn your back. You know, we don't want to. Or they come in with the bottles or whatever. They said, turn your back. Only stop it if, if, if people start to break, break out and fight each other. Or, and since it was no women, it was, well, unless the guys were raping each other, I don't know. How, what were they told to, to turn their backs on? And then we find out that members of that security team got the virus. So they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I know you want us to watch these homeless people. Nobody has a mask. Nobody's standing six feet apart. Nobody even gets the concept, stand six feet apart. All they want to do is, you know, drink the alcohol, shoot up their drugs. And maybe there might be a few normal ones and semi-normal ones who just fell in hard times and they're there. Uh, some Vietnam vets. Now we're starting to learn that they walked off because they weren't provided with the right equipment to protect their people from the virus, right? But you won't hear this from Hancock. Shh. It's all hush hush. And none of these these fake newsmen, Fox News, Channel Seven, Channel Nine, Channel Four, uh, the Denver Post. Nobody's going to ask this question. It's almost like. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So now I guess it's just a free for all, right? Yeah, we, we got the we got the uh, the Coliseum open. You can we don't go back and in and then back and out. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. And it, it, it is so funny. Like you know, you you have the protests on the on the on what on the, on the uh, near the Capitol, and you got in the background <clears throat> all these homeless people with no face masks. Now, Hancock says, on Wednesday the 6th, Wednesday, May the 6th, everybody has to wear a mask. No except If you're standing on a bus stop, wear a mask. If you're going to a business, wear a mask. If you live in Denver, wear a mask. Where are these homeless people going to get this mask? Nobody's asking that because I see a lot of homeless people. They get enough money and they get on the bus and they, they get all their bags and up there. They smell terrible. Now, if they can't control how they smell, they can't control how they smell. How they're gonna put on? How they're gonna control putting on masks and, and being sanitarium or san with masks? They can't wash their ass. A lot of them, not all of them. If you, if you go up to Father, Father Woody's, they have showers and, and stuff like that. And so the people that attend, go up there, you know, you don't, you don't, you're not smelling their ass. Right? They got the laundry, you can put your laundry in there, but not every homeless person do, does that. 
So they get on the buses, they sit, you know, whatever, and they leave their odor, they leave their bugs, whatever, uh, the contamination here and there. Even when police, uh, they confront them, they put on rubber gloves and, and they wear protective stuff to protect themselves from getting scabies on their skins and whatever that, like that, right? And why the six? How can we, all mass Monday. You know, you know what I think? You know what I think? Cinco de Mayo! Viva la Massa! Is on the 5th. And because we're a sanctuary city and we allow everybody, how can we stop this culturally awareness, this politically correct holiday? How can we interfere that with telling policemen to harass our great citizens? here in Denver, Colorado. So we can't have mandatory mass day on Monday, the 4th. We can't have mandatory mass day, mass day on Tuesday, the 5th. No, we have to have it on the 6th. More smoking mirrors from the banditos Hancock and Polis. More smoke and mirrors from these politicians that are all liars. Think about that. Think about that. This is Intervision FM with Johnny J. We thank you for uh, watching, and uh, we, we tell you to, to listen to us on KGVO 92.9 and FM Dow, Fridays at 6 p.m., Sundays at 9 a.m., and also catch us on InnervisionFM.com. That's InnervisionFM.com. Give us a call at 720-324-7278. And leave your comments and let me know what you think. God bless.